Hello, Hello Welcome back to the Tiny Teams Festival. I'm Tre Admirals. Me, Duncan. Hi. Uh, show my screen, please, TJ. We're playing Hexarchy. Hexarchy. Hex in Tiny Teams. It is a tiny game made by two people. It's a 4X. Um, the game is about to begin. Uh, this is the alpha version, so if it, if it crashes, we're going to have the normal half an hour of Armchair Admiral's setup. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wouldn't be the same without it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to show this off. It's, it's a sort of hex-based. Well, you'll see. You don't need any description. We've got special week streams coming up. Uh, loads of really cool, fun streams. Me and Duncan are doing a bunch. We're doing some factory stuff tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's just going to be glorious. Uh, this... Is unnerving though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Found opponents. Game start in two seconds. But there's a little start button. Maybe you press that. Oh. Oh yeah. Maybe you should push the start button. <laughs> oh, it's not. It doesn't auto start. It wants me to manually start. Have you got a start button? No. No. no okay. Just you. Mm. Well, let's see what happens. Um, oh, it says I'm connected. connected. All connected. Nice. We're in. So, so they had to put up a special server for us. Uh, which I think is running on a, a computer in Atlanta somewhere, where the devs are from. This is made by two guys, Main Tank Software. I think they used to play WoW. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, they're 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 working on they're working on this game. So I'm the Aztecs. Who so are you, Duncan? I am Arabia. Okay. Uh, Spiff. I am Egypt. Ooh. And Potato. I am loading. Um, oh, <laughs> I don't know these guys. Uh, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> the potatoes already installed 50 mods for this game. So, uh, That's true. I, I'm just sitting in a screen, screen that says connecting. Connected. Okay. Give it a second. We're all in. Yeah, we might have to, and we can actually we might play. Have to host if it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I, I can give you a little brief tutorial of how this works. Uh, you, can, you obviously want to found your capital city, first of all. Uh, we recommended tiles, but the best tile is a three food tile, if you have one. Right. Because that will instantly... So when you settle your city, you instantly get the resources on that tile. So if it, what if there's a pig on it? Do, do I just get rid of that pig? The pig is gone, but it's still Worth hidden it? in the background, so you'll still get the three food from okay. it permanently. Pig. So yeah, I'm going to settle here, um, which is next to a two luxury resources and, nice. and a deer. Now, I only I get the resources straight away from that tile. So I get one hammer, and hammers are used to play cards, yeah. and I get through two food. So I'm not actually at two pop yet. You might be at two pop already. Don't uh, I am at two pop already, yeah. Which, if we cut your screen... Oh, shit, there's a turn timer. Oh. Um, that's bad. Are you even in the game, Potato? Doesn't sound um, like... Have we even, doesn't sound like he's in. Have we lost but Potato? I, in, ooh. Can, can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you now, yeah. Um, hello? Okay, hello. sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm loading in right now. Uh, it just started loading. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's an early early access game, right? It's or, or not released yet? It's just alpha. I mean, hey, it, it loaded, so it's doing better than, like, Civ Beyond Earth. So, <laughs> um, so oh, I just fell off the desk. Oh, I thought it was vibrating. So, uh, <laughs> if you've got two pop, you could have built, like, a scout. Um, actually, I think I didn't have news pop. Didn't have one. Or um, a settler. What did I do? Is there a log of what I've done? Uh, I, I think I I played. Yeah, there is a discard log. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, you yes, did a lot? In your memory. This is all. I. What did I do? I. <laughs> what did you actually? Don't know. What did you actually do? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> there is a demo of this oh, at Sync Zone. No. It does work fine. Uh, we might have to restart the game. Just. Um, just I researched something that gave me the load. hanging garden. <laughs> That's what I did. I did a research. You ready, potato? I am. I'm still loading. I can okay. well, the game, let's, let's just restart. Obviously, something something glitched oh, in the load. God tier start. Did you? Oh, no, it was, it was quite good. It's fine. So the, uh, this game takes around an hour to play. So I think we should be okay if we do a restart now. Okay. Um, I will yeah, create that, a brand new game. That's all right. Um, it's it it's <sighs> it's gonna happen. Yeah. I think. Uh, are you guys on like a press version or are you on like a normal? I think I just the normal version. I just used the key the from the email. The normal one. Put yeah. it in. Yeah, okay, the latest. Right. Yeah, just wanted to Zero point four four five alpha. Can you quit to the main menu, Duncan, and we'll yep. rejoin? Um, the new code is F G H X Q. If that if that helps. Um, All right, join in game. Try that. F G H. XQ. XQ. 
I tested this last night and it worked fine, by the way. Yeah, well, it, it looked like it was working fine. It's, it's always when you go live and you're trying to actually show it to people. Yeah. Was only, it was only my <laughs> that I wasn't working with. <laughs> okay, I'm in the lobby. Yeah, same. I can't wait for the game to start in two minutes' time. 200, 200, I have 237 seconds. Oh, no. We're just going. We're going. Well, I'm going to take my hands press, off the keyboard. I press start this time. Brilliant. Yeah, that's what you get for old tabbing potato to look at your, like, Look at his what? Look at his what? <laughs> what was I looking oh, at? Sorry, uh, Chi Chi. Apparently, my push to talk doesn't work on the loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm France. I'm Egypt. I'm Greece. Oh Ooh. my god, I might get a turn one settler. Oh, oh yeah, I'm going to get a turn huge. one settler. So I've got this um, pig here that I can just settle on. Me that too. Me too, Pop. I can, oh no, that's not a settler, that's a scout. I've got a scout, I've got a great work. So the other thing you can do is you can two tarts in the bin. So I'm not going to need this warrior, so I'm going to destroy him. You should try and destroy at least one card per turn, because your first card that you destroy gives you a science now, resource. Now, one thing that manners. I will mention though, I played the demo, and I destroyed the masonry card. Yes, you can destroy Which did lock out... Cards. Which 90% of the tech tree. Of the tech tree. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you really <laughs> don't want to do that. That is a bit of an issue. Yeah. So yeah. some of them you definitely need to keep. Some of them are less important. I am going to get a scout because um, I started with it and it's not a bad call. Simon Raid. Uh, I can get wheat and increase food yield on target tile. Mm, I'll do that. Gift of the night. Woodworking unlock. Okay. I actually got like a pretty good start. I started next to a holy site, so I'm getting extra culture. All right. Now, obviously, I've, I've got hammers left, so I'm going to spend them. I'm going to spend them on a tech. I'm going to research God King. I'm going to take this and I'm going to research this. And I'm going to draw a card just in case. Oh, it's a settler. Okay, I'm going to store this for next turn. Okay, sorry, that was a lot. That was very complicated. Fortunately, I've played this game before. I researched woodworking and built a lumber mill. Okay, did you? Yes. Oh, Beijing loves me. Oh, by the way, I'm playing China. Um, okay. But my people love me. So this is a promotion which I don't need. That's going to go in the bin. Uh, let's build a settler. And we're going to get agriculture, I think. Oh, actually, we need this. This is a stone, and we need that set up. So I'm going to just spend some gold to draw. I've got two gold at the moment, I've got none. I did draw masonry, which is great. I can get the mine. I'm going to build the mine on that stone. That will give me a stone resource every turn. And that stone resource can be used for certain techs. So, for example, um, if I want to build the pyramids, I can either build them with six hammers and five gold, or yep. two hammers and two stones. So, yeah. if I just get my stone flowing early, I can oh, then right, like, nice. be like, I could be like my strat. It's it's kind of I didn't really think about it. I just settled on the the three food tile because yep. I wanted the the free settler um, or the quick yep. settler. Um, but now I've actually noticed that I have got quite a lot of, of, to get of resources that. around me that I need to hook up. So this is a luxury, I believe, on this desert. Oh. Um, and this is a this is a luxury as well. What is that? Silver and stone. Holy crap! And this one's got. Just I've got horses. More wool. Oh, horses. Horses. <gasps> oh, someone settled right next to me. Athens. Oh. Hello. Okay. I've, I have I have burnt all of my military. Ah. <laughs> well, I've, I only just got my settler card come up, so I can now get a settler. So if if any of you haven't burnt your military cards, uh, you might want to go and declare war on your friends. But I wouldn't recommend it. Um, uh huh. Let's build a farm as well. Okay. Um, so the lumber. I'm taking a bit of a risk, and what I'm doing is I'm sort of going a little bit. All in. Eco heavy. A little, well, a little bit too, a little bit too tech heavy, actually. So you don't want to research too many techs because if you do, you really blow out your deck. Yeah. And you want to get that settler soon. So you kind of have to just pick one of the one of the tech cards rather than multiple. Um, oh, I went all in on tech because I'm Greece. Oh, I have 29 cards in my deck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> well, you want money as well then in that case because money, two money lets you draw a card, and so you can cycle through your deck faster. With a bit more money. Fishing. Ooh. Well, I, I, well, I managed to build a library, so my logic is maybe if I burn a card like every turn, I'll be able to do good things. So when you, you, when you build a unit oh, no. on your turn... Um, oh, shit, I didn't even... I forgot about my scout. <laughs> I completely forgot about my scout. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see. Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't build it in time. 
<laughs> okay. Well, I messed up a little bit, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I dumped all. I dumped, <laughs> dumped so many cars to make the hang guards, and it didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> that did feel like I just did a turn over. Okay, I completely forgot. Well, I covered on the game. Oh man! So, all right, let's let's move my scout over to. Wow, look how far I can see. I'm going to move down to here with my scout. Actually, move here. Um, oh, well, that's my settler. So, Why? actually, with settlers, you can settle very close to existing uh, cities. So, I'm actually going to settle right here. So, this is pretty unusual but it's part of the game. You can actually settle within two hexes of an existing um, oh. existing, um, existing city, which is very unusual. It means you can have very dense empires, but because the game's quite quick, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, this monument lets me have plus one happiness of culture to all cities within two tiles. So that is another, another benefit to having very close cities. I don't need the scout. Oh, wow. I don't really need the axeman. We're going to draw a card. I haven't got metal, so I'm going to chuck metal working. And I'm going to build the pyramids in my capital. Um, I'm going to chuck metal working. Paganism? Don't need that. Oh, don't Actually, need I pagans. might need that. I might need that. Filthy pagans. Um, what do I do? I'm going to take the library. I'm going to store it till next turn. And I'm going to research paganism. I'm just throw that all in there. Okay, just wanted to use up my resources. Um, there's Athens. Ooh. There's my scout. Egypt built the pyramids. Oh. Is that someone else's settler coming in here? Now, mm -hmm. I can attack your settler oh, with that my scout. Is a settler. But oh. in this game, scouts only have one attack. Settlers have three defense. Oh. So a, a scout cannot kill a settler. Oh, no. Settlers only have one now. Oh. Oh, I can kill you. Oh, that's... That's a bit, you wouldn't kill a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely would kill a friend. <laughs> Especially if I'm right next to said friend. Um, all right, we'll build another uh, mine, build another town. All right, so I'm going to get plus one gold and happiness. I've got two. This isn't, sto this, is, this isn't stone at all, this is marble. I've got, I've got marble coming in. I didn't look at it correctly. It's actually marble. So... That's not ideal. <laughs> that's that's so. Um, I, right. I love how the market is just filled with all the pearls that I've been throwing into it. Mm, nothing market, but pearls in there. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a lot of pearls in there. I'm gonna. Just... I got I got <clears throat> pearls from turn one, so I've just been throwing them into the market for gold. Yeah, so you can buy whiskey's pearls if you want for three three money each and um so these are resources i haven't really talked about these but you you keep these resources in your hand mm. you can use them for um let's just quickly put a cheap road here right, road. um if you, you you need to link your cities together by roads or else you get a big money penalty ah um, yes yeah where's the road in the tech tree i'm not sure who's this hi that's me that's you as well <gasps> you settled a you settled a city. <gasps> oh my God. Well, I was, I was just about to settle a city. You oh, you blocked me. City. Unbelievable. Oh, I see. I don't think I can attack your city with a scout. So, okay. So, you moved it at the end. Uh, so, units move at the end of your turn. So, what happened was you moved it at the end of your turn and then settled it on the start of your turn. So yes. I guess I didn't have a chance to... Good um didn't actually have a chance to, to stop it happening. Mm, tricky. Oh, there's another settler here. It's all become very, very I've only been now. given one settler. It's, it, it's become very cramped indeed. Is it just like luck when you draw them? Uh, well, it's in your deck. If you've, if, you've, if you've thinned down your deck, you'll yeah, draw it a lot more. Cards. I've got 18 cards in my deck. Mm, I think I need to do I'll some. you know I have a very thin deck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I think I need to actually go somewhat into the military. Lots of you have been selling science and stuff. Mm. Well, I only have a hand limit of three, like for resources. Um, oh, I'm getting one science per turn, so I'm yeah. I've I've I can't find the warehouse building. I might have deleted it. Oops. <laughs> well, it might still be. You might have to still draw into it. Wondering if I should just save military tactics, but military tactics isn't the best one. 
I'm gonna save it anyway. So if you don't spend your hammers, you, you, they just get converted to gold, mm -hmm. by the way. So you can leave a couple of hammers at the end of your turn without it being too much of a penalty. You built a oh God, I just saw Lewis store a card. What the hell is this? Yeah, you can store one card from your hand for next turn. Yeah. That's Wait. crazy. You, wow. You can, you can fit them into your inventory. You can actually keep your whole hand if you have enough room. Yeah. What are you doing in my land, Whiskey, with your little scout? Well, it was a settler, but you blocked me with Heliopolis. Oh, did I? Was, uh, I was going to settle on the coast there and build the, the great lighthouse. Oh, too late. Temple of Diana. It was too late. Temple, <laughs> Temple of Diana. I'm just going to build wonders, I think. Uh, could do with the well, past, the danger sure. of building wonders is somebody just comes over and decides to kill you, and then they get all those victory points. Well, yeah, but, you know, you have to actually kill me first, you know? That's true. Is that an invitation? <laughs> it's <laughs> the opposite of an invitation. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to build a granary. Can you store more than one card? Yeah, you could just, however, however many you think can fit. Oh, oh I'm way over. Okay, so I need to sell. I guess it will sell them. So yeah, the well, it still cards cards takes the same slots as your stored resources. Right, but it, w it won't sell them. It just sells resources up to the cards, I assume. Uh, it will sell specific resources. You, you should try and either sell or f end up at five out of five at the end of your turn. If you don't... Um, it doesn't auto-sell them. It, w it will auto-sell them, but it yeah. will auto-sell... The, the, sometimes it will auto-sell the wrong ones that you don't want it to auto-sell, you see. Um, does that make sense? Yes. It's, it's better if you make the decision on what to get rid of rather right. than the game. Yeah. Uh, hmm. oh, I need to move this settler somewhere. Uh, we could go here, I suppose. <laughs> See, this is going to be very cramped. It's already super, super cramped. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait. That's you, Lewis, right there. Okay. Right, yeah, you're, are you Medina? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm China. I'm over to your right. Oh, I haven't seen, I haven't scouted you. I should have done, really. I've got my scout down here in the wrong, not, I'm not moving him. I keep forgetting to move him. It, I feel like it's, it's easy to forget to use units because it doesn't have like that little prompt, like, oh, next city, next unit. Absolutely. Like other games do. Yeah. Okay. Let's build this city here. <laughs> a terrible, terrible place. Uh, <laughs> can I? Oh, a road. Okay, I can make a road now. Right. Need some more hammers, though. Someone's selling stone. I'll buy that. And some oh, care about down. fishing. Maybe. Granary. What I really Granaries need quite good. is. I need some sort of horse. Yeah, do I have horses though? I don't actually have horses. I'll trade you a kingdom. I'm oh, going to just draw a card or two. Hunter gatherers is no good. Um, divine decree is fine. Let's keep drawing. Fishing heart, don't need that right now. Archer, I do need that. Okay, I can't build it here because I built another building in there, so I'll save it <coughs> for the next turn. Let's slap a fishing What is this now. guy that's coming up to me? An archer, I see. He's scouting. Mm. Oh, I have got bronze. <laughs> I shouldn't have thrown away metal working. Oops. <laughs> Do you oh, keep hammers between turns? No, you don't. No, they get nope. turned into gold. They get turned into gold. Okay, good to know. Um, but if they get turned into gold, you can buy resources instead that you can use as hammers. So it kind of kind of does, kind of. True. Yes. I forgot I could spend money to get cards. Oh, well. You just press C. Yeah. Oh, a settler. <laughs> be given one. <laughs> oh man! You can keep drawing cards until I get the next one. Okay, this is already pretty intense game. We're on turn nine, <laughs> guys. Yeah, oh! yeah. Uh, I've got four cities. I've uh, got the pyramids. I'm pretty happy with where I am. I've, I've built a couple of other wonders as well. So if you go over the top of, so if you get happiness, you get. Um, you get these we love you victory points. So if you, there's a chance if you're at max happiness and you gain happiness, you get a victory point. Uh, so to win, you get victory points for 
Uh, I think it's first to 100, or it might be 150, actually. First to 100, or turn 30 is reached. You get right. victory points for hexes, population, wonders, holy sites, and the we love you bonus. Okay? Just so you know. Uh, what does yeah. this do? I've forgotten what some of these texts do. I got rid of all of this whole tree, which is not ideal, because that's actually swordsman, crossbowman, musketman. Oops. But I can still go down here to knights. Have I got rid of anything bad? <laughs> I think I don't think I've dumped any text. Oh, no, I dumped mysticism. So I've locked out the, that tree. Yeah, hmm. I think government cards are really good to dump because you can only have one, right? Yeah, I dumped slavery. Um, that's not really. So you should be dumping one every turn. That seems like a... You absolutely need to, because the thing is, the first card you dump, you get two hammers and a free sign. Yeah, yeah. So it's always kind of right. worth it. Um, I need ten hammers to build the Great Wall, or three hammers and three stone. Hmm, I don't know if I'm going to get that stone in time. So if I dump some food resources on these cat cities, it'll grow them, which is pretty cool. And I can dump some luxuries in here, get a little bit of victory. You got 53 points. Yeah, I'm, I'm good at the game. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> I got 21. Wait. How do you see a score? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just looking at his uh, screen. Oh, okay. Save that. 53 seems like a lot. I got what, what 37. What points am I on? Uh, top, top left. left. Uh, I think 30 then. <clears throat> okay. So, um, I'm doing good. Yeah, you are. I'm doing pretty good. I think that the, the, the early, I thought it was stone, but it's actually marble. The early marble stats paid off because I've managed to put a lot of these monuments down, which has left me be, being super, super happy. I've got like a super densely packed sieve. Oh, you yes. Got, you got chicken pizza. You murdered me. I, I gave this archer so many buff cards <laughs> because you <laughs> attacked me. I'm gonna attack you. So yeah, you can upgrade your um, blocking you. you. Can upgrade your boys with some some pretty powerful cards, like double attack and. Um, some yeah, I just built a stuff. barracks, which uh, lets me build a unit, and then I immediately get the card back into my hand. So it lets you like spam out a unit. It's quite good. Oh, I need to move this settler. Um, okay. Get a temple. It's just really cheap. What happened to my... Did I not store the chicken pizza? I must have forgotten. Uh, hereditary rule, what does this do? Reduces unhappy... I don't actually have a problem with happiness, so... Oh, actually, we're fine. Oh, there's this. red below me. Okay, I've got... No, we have to expand. <laughs> Shit. Catapult. Yeah. Uh, we'll use my archer and we'll attack you here. And then we'll... I thought I got rid of this. Maybe I got rid of the wrong card. <laughs> Excuse me, this is a peaceful scout, Lewis. Why are you trying to catapult a scout? Uh, no reason. Uh, let's get a warehouse and a farm Friendship. and a harbour and a some food. We'll drop that on our capital. Get up to six pop. Got two stone. And no hammers. I'm, I'm, I'm great. What's for sale? Iron pearls. Real cheap. Some of these resources are so cheap, guys. Look. You're selling all of your luxuries to me. And I'm just going to put them all in my cities and give myself victory points. Wait, you can't, that's illegal. You can't do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a crime. I just am doing it, so... Oh, is that how you make your cities happy? You give them more luxuries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, it, each luxury will give one one happiness, yeah. So that's how you can deal with a happiness that doesn't have a very good base. So you've got two ways to generate happiness. One is through buildings like this, hmm. the monuments. The other way is through buildings that are in them, like coliseums and stuff. And then the third way is through actually just generating luxuries. So you can get like a winery on a tile, and that will give you wine every turn that you can then put the happiness where you actually want it. So th see. this city is actually losing happiness, as you can see. It's actually going minus three. So, and this city's but got minus But if you spam enough luxuries one. into it, you can yeah, keep it happy, right? exactly. And you can buy them as well for relatively cheap. Um, 
Oh, what's going on over here? You killed my boy. Ooh. Your scout died. Yeah. So there's a there's a whole mess of stuff down here in in this area. Hmm. I, me and Duncan seem to be caught in some sort of war that has not been declared, but, but seems to be happening anyway. <laughs> you just died, it. Eh? Oh my gosh, I've got so much <laughs> culture in my city that I've actually taken the tiles around yours. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, God. It's because I guess Potato's taken all of these ones. And, uh. Oh, my gosh. That's that's bad. Right. Um. Why is, where are my wonders? Let me draw. Horseback riding. Oh, shit. Mm. Which, which ones do I want? Do I don't need a four. I don't think you guys are attacking me. Um. I can always throw that in. I should definitely do the road. So let's do the road. That only costs one. Oh, I don't want to use my stone on the road, though. Let's draw again. Archer. I don't need another archer. Great wall. That's what I want. Let's slap that bad boy down. Okay. And then more fishing huts. Because they give so much money. It's What's ludicrous. That? I don't really mm. seem to have a problem with money. So let's get rid of the courthouses. The monument gives happiness. So we should put that down somewhere. I can put it down over here, I think. And this, this, this will build a city here. And then... Uh, military tactics. Hmm. I don't think we need military. We're just going to risk it. We're going to gamble everything on not using a military. I don't have any... Oh, I'll deal with one more mine. Over there. Another road. How do I need Those this? I need four. Okay. Four. Horseback riding. Okay, I'll save that until next turn. Another library. I've got so much science that I'm not using, I guess I can <laughs> chuck it all. Oh my god, that's so much money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have 78 cash and nothing to spend. Let me just buy wine. Yeah, I feel like you end up with just so much money by the end of this this game. Just the luxury mm. trades get a bit crazy. Damn it, I hit end turn without stealing the luxuries off the market. Oh, I just uh, got five victory points from doing that. <laughs> Yes, no. it's a very good idea. So each city gets harder and harder to trigger the, the luxury bonus, but you can see next to the city how many hearts it's got, which is how many times you've triggered it. Oh, is that what that is? I see. Yeah. I, was, I thought they just loved me. I see. So I can see my capital city is two hearts, and then on the stream, Lewis's <laughs> has 47 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, a few more. <laughs> just a couple more than yours. Um, oh, shit, I didn't use all my food. I sold two of it by accident. Oh, wow. Well. 78 points, guys. You're going to catch me. No. You're going to catch me. We've got an AI in this game. No, it's just, no. just you guys. There's five That's players not to describe at the top. my place, <laughs> Oh, there is five players. <laughs> Doctor, oh, yeah. can we have peace, Duncan, so I can go kill Lewis? You started this war. Maniac. I think it might be too late, guys. My empire is too powerful. I, 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 I can only have two cities. <laughs> 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 I didn't get my third set until like last time. I'm gonna have to help you out with this. <laughs> All right, let's get this forge down. All right, what is this here on my border? Is it an axe man? I've got this. That's a, a, a warrior. Who's using a warrior? You guys are very early. Game. I've got a knight. All right, let me teach. I need to teach you guys all this. Yeah, you he's just probably got musket. You can just destroy all of this stuff. It's got like. thirty strength, but I don't have any iron, so I can't make any more. I had to buy the iron off someone that sold it. <laughs> uh, can't see him. Mine doesn't need that. Gift of the Nile. All right, food. So I can drop all the food on this city on the end here and grow it real fast. Boom. And grow this one, and then grow this one. Keep a few luxuries in there, keep it happy. Buy some crabs and gems and crabs. Crabs and gems. I can buy a, st I can use a, st a library. Sell some science that I'm not using. Oh boy, I've got a lot of money. Uh. I'm still limited. You're always limited by your hammers, though, right? So it's not like with money, you can't just... You can't just... You can't rush buildings you with can money. buy so. cards and then trash them. It's true. That's true, yeah. Probably the time to start just burning your deck. 
to kill Lewis. In fact, let me just do that. I don't recommend burning decks. Um. <clears throat> There's a cream I think for it's a that. Thing to do. You can use an ointment. <laughs> an ointment. <laughs> wow. There is there is five players in this game, by the way. There's only for five players for you, but for me, I don't see the fifth player. I haven't met them. It's here. We haven't met them I yet. That's like why. Russia, I think it is. Russia, Russia okay, down here. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a fifth player. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's just an AI AI Russia. How did that guy get in? I don't know. <laughs> is it a guy from chat? Is it Vizty? Is the dev? <laughs> he snuck in. Imagine if they won. Look how high speed this is, though. Like, yeah, this game is like, I built this oh, yeah, massive you, you empire in like 13. If you, if you get a bad start, though, you're kind of a little bit screwed. I don't think there is such a thing as a bad start. I think there is. Potato's coming for me, guys. He's coming for me. Well, Good. I, I was coming for you, but Duncan just moved like seven units into my territory. Yes. Well, you got. I'm at 87, Plato. You better make your move. I've got 13 points away from victory. 87? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what are you at, Duncan? 34. Oh, you noob. You played the tutorial this this morning and. I did. I, and I, I couldn't even beat that. You couldn't even beat the tutorial. Oh well, yeah, I you like destroyed said. masonry and I, I built all the wonders I could, and then there was a the thing that said build a wonder, and I, I couldn't do it. Game will end soon, guys. Yeah. Tal has a population. Oh, right, I need to. Not if I have something to say about it. Yeah. Um. Mathematics. Where is this pop? What? I need to move this population off. I don't know which city is working this tile, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. I figured it out. So I need iron to do anything now, and I don't have any. How do I get there iron? There might be some on the shop. Russia's been selling some. There's not any. Well, it's, there's trends. What's that? No, there's no iron going. 14 hammers, though. I don't need any more settlers. Uh, healing ritual, don't need that. Temple, sure. Harbor, sure. Road. I think those up. Uh, let's draw some cards. Can I get a one? Are there any more wonders I've not built? That's what I'm trying to find, but I don't think there are. Hmm. Hmm. Draw. Library. I'm just drawing my entire deck at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what can I dump? Dump Archer. Do I need two more hammers? Dump the farm. Horseman. Shuffle my deck. Divine Decree. So every time you sh every time you try and play the same card twice in a turn, so I've already played this once this turn, um, it gets one more expensive. Right. So you can't just get your uh, deck down to nothing uh, and then spam it because it'll become ludicrously expensive. I um, see. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, we'll just do this. I 97, guys. I put this settler nowhere. Nowhere. Let's just buy the rest of this stuff up. Archer. How long have we got? 30 seconds. I think I've burnt like 12 cards this time. I'm like just <laughs> digging. I'm digging so hard for units. <laughs> well, if you don't get the units in a timely fashion, you're in trouble. Well, it dude. takes them like three turns to attack with one because you build it one turn move it two turns there are attack. some units that yep. let you that move in the first turn yeah. there's a couple of cards that do it as well yeah uh, mobilize is one this one here allows a unit that was built this turn to be given orders this turn so there's a few ways to get your army into mm. the battle faster um it's good because it makes the slow wars harder to execute because it's so you you can't really knock someone out that fast early on there's another later AI on, here it is harder as well what because is it? they it? can build stuff there's another, there's another AI over here, Sousa. Oh, there is? I've got there's six players version. in my game now. There's a, what? There's a six player. You guys are discovering more, more players. This is I great. thought it was just us four. The dev did tell me this supported um, eight. 
Or six to eight. Or ten, Siskadura. T- ten multiplayer? What? Wow. Who is- Sorry, so... This is meant to be early access, But Medina, right? who what is Medina? Hell? Is that not any of you? Final yeah. score. But the Arabia? I don't know if anyone's Arabia. Oh, I see. So well, this wasn't one of you the whole time. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, there was Egypt, seven, China, seven players. Greece... Arabia, France, Persia, Russia. Oh wait, my go. gosh, there were three AIs <laughs> that we didn't know about. <laughs> and one of them beat me. Which one were you, Duncan? <laughs> I was France. <laughs> you got beat by an AI! Well, I, I was stuck in I got hexed in. The AI hasn't even been properly coded, I don't think. Look yet. at this though. But look at this look at my start, right? I get no settlers. And then there's just no resources. You should have been completely totally locked stuff in. And drawing stuff. Jeez. What power! What power play by me? <laughs> I, re- I sorry, guys. I really gave you the old crushing, <laughs> crushing oh defeat. Look at I? Lewis's <laughs> empire. He's got six cities. Oh my god! Well, have a look at pink. You've, look at China. You've settled your cities really close to each other. Lewis. I know. Like, that's you can tell. Was that you? just for the monument that, stacking? That is for the monument mm. stacking. Because the thing is, as soon as they grow to like a decent size, like Memphis, a lot of the pop had to work the capital, which doesn't give them because there was no tiles at all within three for them to work. Um, so it's a real risk, actually, if you if you build them too close together. But yeah, it's a really powerful move because it lets them be very wow. easily defensible. <clears throat> um, now you know. Uh, do you want to go again? You have horsemen. Is that all you had? What do you mean? Oh, I had a horse. I had. Um, I had, a I had like an, I had an extremely powerful army. Where is it? I had. Look, I've got a knight. Thirty strength knight. Wow. There's like there's another one. There's like a horseman and a swordsman, an archer there, another guy over here, another swordsman. And what did you do with it all, Dunk? Well, I was going to attack Potato, but the game ended. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you would have had a chance. You would it's have just had a, a normal turn fourteen <laughs> victory. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I've oh yeah. I've turn fourteen. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean. It's so my dream game yeah. to save. Fast paced, cramped. It, t- it took me a third of the game to get that knight to where well, it is now. Well, you can always rush, though. <laughs> you know, if you, if you keep a small deck, you know, you can and choose your text carefully. You can just go straight down to knights, mm. um, especially if you're someone who gets free science. You know, it's not even that expensive to get these these high level techs, right? I mean, three science for like engineering and that gives yeah. you crossbows. That's a 20 strength unit. And you can get that very, very quickly if you beeline for it. Um, mm. And then it's very hard to defend against that if, if you're playing like me, where I just binned everything straight up that was... I shouldn't have done this, but I threw away metalworking. And that got <laughs> rid of, like, swordsman, spearman. You know, it really got rid of a lot of the... Um, oh, yeah, you locked yourself out from a lot of stuff. A lot of... I missed out. I should have really kept it, because the wonders are so important. You, sort of, you sort of really should keep any text that give you wonders. Um, yeah. But it was, um, it was pretty... What do you think? What do you think of this game, huh? It's good. I think I really like it. Yeah. The turn one opening move is to bin the settler card, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, that that is the one city challenge right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, a dream. Uh, um, but yeah, this is uh, this is uh, you can wish list this. Um, although potato, you you recommended it a while ago, didn't you? Because it was kickstarted, and you were like, I yeah. found this a really cool game. I think we should play it. Um, so yeah, this is part of China's time. got an enormous empire. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. But, but look how spread out it is, though. You see what I mean? Yeah. You're playing for this late game. I was just squashed in with all the AIs. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Duncan were too rubbed in the Arabia did such a big expansion. Like, they got four good yeah. cities out like, pretty early. They didn't get this goody hut, though. Just randomly, a, two go- a goody hut two tiles away from their they capital. Just they just keep managed up. to never <laughs> stand on <somehow. laughs> Um, it's one up there as well. Look, the AI obviously doesn't understand Goody Huts. Um, but yeah, the power, the power, the power plays of old Lewis got you. So, this what time. games are you guys playing next then? Now that we will have to bugger off because our allotted game time has been. Yeah, expired. I don't know if we're going to be able to play another game. Um, <laughs> I mean, maybe considering we could, how fast you clean this one. Maybe we probably can. Oh, I don't know. We got to play. We got other games to play, Duncan. We got. We got. We got. We're gonna get told off if we don't. You know, we got yeah, lots of games. You've to only got fifteen minutes, so yeah. probably shouldn't play. Anything. I think that's that shows. Um, you can start another and explain strategy. All right, sure. fine. Let's do that. So, uh, let me just pick a random. Let me just pick Rome. It doesn't really matter. So here's the current hexarchy strategy, right? Which I've figured out, which you can take away with you if you like. Um, 
you've got to sort of pick initially um, your starting area, which matters a lot. And that will lead you down with the cards to like another another place. And there's a lot of starting ca cards that don't really have any impact. Like this card here, Strength. Mm -hmm. It doesn't... I don't have a unit, right? So this is kind of just a free a free extra hammers and science that lets me get a free tech off on turn one. Writing is library. If I don't start with stone, which I have done, that can go in the bin straight away as well, pretty much. Because it does unlock mathematics and military tactics, but those cards don't seem at the moment, in the current build of the game, to have all that much going for them. You get um, more military stuff, but none of it is like You're that looking important. off barracks, though, entirely. Yeah, but I think you could just lose. I could just, I, like, right now I could just chuck writing. Like, it's not going to make a difference to that game, I promise. Um, Barracas are really good. Founding a city, I want to settle on this three food tile at the moment because it's obviously. This is, this is, this is your tactics versus AIs that don't really attack you. Yeah. So you're, you dumping all this military stuff might actually not work in a player versus player environment. Yeah, but. <laughs> but it worked that, that time. <laughs> yeah, that's because we didn't know what we were doing. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so I've, I've, if I haven't got enough gold, I can spend hammers as gold. So I've dug a bit deep into my deck. I was hoping to get settler turn one, but now I've not got enough hammers to do it. But I can do it. I stick it one further. Okay, I got scout. That'll do. I'll take the scout. Um, and then he can't move, which is fine. And then I could do a tech, but. I can keep the science for next turn, so I'm not actually going to do a tech, because all it's going to do is blow out my deck right now, and I want to get this masonry. So I'm just going to end my turn keeping the science rules and not doing the research. Right. Okay. And then I got my settler, which is great. So we'll build that. We'll move our scout out somewhere. Um, if that's a goody hut, so we should go and get that. So let's queue up the scout to head over there slowly. Warrior is going in the bin, because uh, warrior is really too slow, right? If you're going to attack me, warrior is not what you're going to use. I might as well just get an axe man. You see what I'm saying? So mm. I'm, I'm already going into mine. If I wasn't going into mine, then I might think about it differently. This is actually a, a sea resource here. Pearls, clams. So I do clams. kind of want that. But at the same time, I've only got one hammer left. So I don't think I'm going to be able to um, build the fishing hut this turn. So again, it's, it's unless I can research the deck and build the fishing hut, I'm not going to just bloat my deck up with all this crap. So I'm just going to end the turn here. Um, well, I could draw one. Let's just draw one. Okay, scout. I don't need another scout, so we can chuck this away. Um, this is my unique ability. Make this one's not very good. Make a random building improvement card cost one gold. I oh. It could be really good, That's actually. I mean, that, that could literally do what you wanted. That could be really good. All right, so yeah. sure. So let's get the fishing hut. So make, it might make play the fishing this. hut. Oh, I yeah, see that we can do this. Boom. Wow, Duncan. See? This is why you're here. Potato and Spiff, I hope you're paying attention. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the daily challenge. The masterclass. Daily challenge? Oh, the, the date. So there's a daily challenge. Yeah, you can have a look at that. So that'll be... Um, Get 15 total pop. Yeah. Wow. That's actually relatively quick. I'm just going to go here. Uh, build another settler. So I could now build an axe man if I wanted to. But look, there's no one here. You know, if, if <laughs> I'd noticed like there was an enemy right near me, I could just axe man and head send it towards them. Um, but I've only just built this mine. Is this mine not giving me any stone? Oh, it's not. It's salt and iron. I should have checked. So in fact, I'm just getting two luxuries off of it. That's not ideal. But that's changed everything. My entire strategy is out the window. Uh, all it, it's, I've ruined it. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, so that settler's going there. That settler can't move this turn. I guess we want this forest hooked up at some point, but it's not important. What's more important is getting a granary or this, I guess. Oh, a road. Hmm. Let's do a really cheap road. I'm just going to do a, a really weird road here. <laughs> Roads are really expensive, <laughs> so <laughs> normally have happened. Oh my god! So if I just why why did you do there, that? Well, because then I can build cities along it later. Oh, okay. So like a city here, like a city here, and a city here, and then I don't have to worry about the roads later in the game. I can just chuck my road card away. Yeah. I've already got the roads. Also, all roads lead to Rome, 
Duncan. Then. Oh shit! There's um, <gasps> free settler. There's a I've got a free settler, and there's um, that's why goody huts are worth it. <laughs> and there's a dude there, so I need to go and do some more scouting, I think. But I should be able. To, I should go and attack Paris really, because he's gonna have. He's gonna be hemmed in. Bad. Look at this. Look at that spawn. That's a bad spawn for poor, poor, poor guy. Um, my culture just expanded all the way over there, which I'm not sure is a thing. All right, I don't really need any more fishing huts. Get rid of that. Harbor's not very good. Get rid of that. Mine. I could probably use it on there, so we'll wait a turn. Pyramids. Get that down. Might as well. And then this tech is, is good for happiness and other stuff. You kind of need it. I can't really throw it away. Anyway, you get the idea. Um... Duncan, what are you doing? Are you doing, doing the, the daily challenge? challenge. Right, show me what you're thinking. I'm trying to get 15 pop, but so far I have one. So you're going to want... So you see which tiles your city is working. You need to move that city. So it's currently working the C tile. You want to make it work the land tile. How do you instead. do that? So you see the C tile. Yeah. Click that and click him. There you go. And move him to the land. But Ooh. what are the food tiles? Yeah. That looks good. Um, that's no good because... Well, it's, it's fine, but um, you get those resources from it anyway, the bottom two. So it's just like oh, you, you can't do, farm that? on it. See what I mean? What's wrong with the seed tar? I feel like it's good. Well, you only get one food and two gold. It's like right. a sieve. Oh, because I want, and I want pop, don't I? That's well, the, the game, point. the AI will automatically work the most resource-heavy tile, but you want pop, right? So you kind of want to get the agriculture, get a farm, um, and then try and discard maybe that. Um, lumber mill. Balls to it. And then get a farm on the tile that you're working. Yeah. I don't think you're going to need to worry about building lumber mills. Um, he's already working that tile. Okay. You get, basically, when a, when, um, when a pop spawns, you get um, a free move of that pop. But if you want to move a pop in future to a different tile, it costs one hammer. So it's not free, just, it's not free to move around pops. So you don't have to like micromanage your. Well, it's to encourage you from massively micromanaging. Don't really get this pop ups to go away. <laughs> it's, it's tutorial stuff because you're playing um, the first game, I guess. Uh, we didn't get it in multiplayer. It would have been useful in multiplayer. Though, yeah, it would have. Yeah. <laughs> Potato spear for you just lost in in the game. Yeah, I'm building I'm, a beautiful empire. Okay, well, same, same. Well, look, I think it's we should probably end the stream because I didn't realize this would descend into <laughs> uh, gay civ addiction. Uh, it's a new game. <laughs> there is a demo on Steam if you guys want to test it out. Uh, you can always wishlist it on Steam as well. Uh, we will no doubt be covering it as it continues. And so we are going to... Uh, this isn't an optional thing, though. You legally have to wishlist it on Steam. Like, right now, just go wishlist it. Like, if you do it, you know, there's a magical thing on the back end of Steam which 100% can be exploited, whereby the more people who wishlist the game, the more Steam pushes it, which in turn means the better the game does. Hey. So, just, like, oh, free yeah. support for a developer. Just wishlist everything. What could go wrong? Yeah, even if you don't want to buy it. Um, but... You know, maybe you will later. So, yeah, um, thank you, everyone. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back in five, everyone. All right, see you in five.